Greetings, I'm Sola Pizzuto, Global Wellness Educator and Retreat Coordinator for here uh, in Thailand with the Meeting of the Masters Retreat with Charles Muir and Master Manta Chia. And I'm sitting here speaking with Prana and Provas, and I'm coming from Germany, Berlin. And I'm from Norway. <laughs> and we're going to be discussing and sharing some of the interesting things that happen here uh, during the retreat. So I'd love for you to share first. The one thing, if you could imagine, that pops up into your mind at this moment that you think of. It's a pretty tough question because it's been, it's, there's been so many things that have, have moved, sometimes moved small mountains, sometimes moved large mountains. Mm. But um, first of all, I totally honor both of the, the masters and, and, uh, and uh, within their teams, there were also plenty of other teachers that, that really helped me. And, um, you know, there are two masculine, masculine forces to be reckoned with. Yes. But what I also really appreciated was a team of feminine mm -hmm. tantricas that supported my journey as a woman. And I haven't had a lot of feminine role models, certainly not in the realm of sexuality, that I could draw upon their, you know, years and, and centuries even, you know, the... the, the of, of, of knowledge and exp uh, experience, so I think that's probably what was the, the feminine bringing forth the teachings of mm. Master Chia and Master, Master Charles. Yeah. And so um, there, was, there was playfulness, there was sensuality that I realized that I've been quite uptight. Mm -hmm. when it comes to my sexuality. So I've seen role models now within the teachings of how I can be more playful, bring my goddess out more. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I just go into my heart more. I open much, much more, sexually speaking. Yeah, yeah. And then for you, Prabhas? Um, yeah, it's quite similar. I'm overwhelmed. I had so many interesting experiences. I can't start to count them, but the most most intense uh, experience I had was actually working with a master and learning the Amrita, learning the technique to uh, help my wife to have an Amrita, and that was mind-blowing. I really could it was like giving birth, so... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the goosebumps are rising. Yes. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> you. <cute. laughs> yeah, this is what I can say now. I'm, I'm still processing. It's, an, it's amazing, isn't it? But I'm so grateful. Usually I don't like to go to too many workshops. Yeah. And I said to her, you're crazy. We have to go at then and then and then. But I'm, this time I'm so grateful that we yeah. did. Yeah, there's so much learning to Yes. Me. Um, to be met with, even if you've been in a long-term relationship, such as yes. you guys. I mean, you guys have been together now for how long? Seven years. Seven years, and you've had many spiritual practices, right? Mm -hmm. And your journey of, of finding the path and an enlightenment has been vast, and, you know, your previous sharing with me. So uh, this is quite interesting that you could still, with all of your training and knowledge, still come to a retreat such as this and meet with Master Chia and Charles Muir and gain so much profound um, awakening, yes? Mm. Yes, certainly it had mm -hmm. opened a new door for us. Yes. And we got more intimacy and more depths. And more fun. And more fun, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure, more fun, more, more playfulness. More juiciness. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. And, and we can go being back to kids again. Yeah. Right? And, and Absolutely. having that lightness and enjoyment. Yes. You know? And it's so funny because, you know, as, as one to meet you guys in the beginning of this retreat, everyone's faces and demeanors and, and uh, body language, I have to say it's quite interesting to see how you guys have evolved from the first day and then the last day. <laughs> Today is the last day. And everyone, I, I could say almost everyone, is like jo jovial. They're just spirited and alive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? Yes, yeah. certainly. And then what about the, now the friendship? Because I know, you know, in the beginning, we were coming from many different countries, many different languages, many different cultures, and many different belief systems. Um, I'd love for you guys to share your experience of in meeting the friends here. 
You know, it was a it was a very large group with with so many like the vastness of the, the where they came from the the kind of interesting things people were committed to and what they represent. Mm. Uh, we've, I think for myself, I've tried as much as possible to, to stick to a few so that I can get a little bit more intimate. And it's mm. been, uh, and that's actually also been a support. Um, and some of the conversations that you would never have. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything, but you would never have with friends at home where yeah. people would come to the dinner table and say what they've been up to all afternoon, and I'd be like, "What? It doesn't. Really, no. it's, it, it, you don't blink an eye because it's uh, we're here for a common purpose, and everyone's uh, supporting that exactly. by just being really open. Mm -hmm. And there's there's that um, sense of non-judgmental mm. acceptance where we're all sitting there. Maybe it's been the second or third day where we've met. But we're suddenly talking about very insightful and in-depth conversations about ourselves and our life, and it's so refreshing to be able to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you build such yes. a cohesiveness, like right away, because of that. Mm. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, the meeting with you guys myself, and it's been a pleasure. And to see you shine, <laughs> it's been wonderful. Now, I'd love for you to share about your J-Day experience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where to begin? <laughs> I've been wearing it pretty much all week. Yes. I was wearing it very public publicly yeah. one day yeah. where uh, where I was actually in a demonstration and I'd forgotten that I had the had the egg there and and it felt so easy to yeah. notice that oh I'm on display here and I just have to lay my egg in front of everyone and it just was it was such a relaxation there mm. but uh, but I was actually today I've really noticed how it's changed for me my insides because uh, you know because I've been wearing it every day and I went to the washroom and that can be as a beginner that can be a little bit tricky yeah but today I went to the washroom and it was just it was there I could do whatever <laughs> I needed to do and my muscles had significantly improved over just these Even 10 just, days yeah isn't that amazing <laughs> yeah and so um and preface what about your your men's practice what do you think <clears throat> what I think um, it's still for me quite a challenge to wake up and do the exercises yes. I have to deprogram or reprogram myself but it makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. and I will do it so I have committed uh, at my last sessions to do it in my ta daily practice that's wonderful yeah I'm so excited for the two of you in this journey uh, it just gets better and better, and um, for, for one who's practiced this um, and who shares this practice with many people around the world, uh, it's just, you know, it's so enlightening and it's so wonderful to hear the feedback. I'm honored for you guys. Thank you, Thank you. for supporting us in, in this journey. Thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs>